Hello there again, friends. Today is 12-23-2021, and this is Odin Vlog uh, Project Day Number 23. Yes, Vlog 23. Uh, today we worked on O3 Flex Header 2 exercise, which is the third one in in the order uh, going down on the exercise assignments in the um, in the section of the flex box section <clears throat> and uh, I am happy to report that I got through this exercise with little googling just a little bit um, so and just going off the readme file so I am super excited I'm super stoked that this worked out well so I really figured they said as as you go down in these lessons are gonna get harder and harder and I don't think it's beginner's luck. Maybe it was, but uh, I feel like I've really learned from the last one and retained it because this one was not a struggle nearly as bad as the other one. So we're basically working on another header, and it's a different type of header. As you can see in the GIF uh, on the desired outcome there on the far right side, you see how it's being shrunk down from the right. <clears throat> so... Uh, that's the goal for today is to flex shrink that um, and um, the desired outcome second one is just showing excuse me <coughs> which is just showing the header file without the shrinking um, but it needs to shrink to fit and the elements need to stay uh, on the left and right sides I know this is a little cut off because I'm zoomed in but there you go so it needs to behave like that when it's done. This is what it looks like when you first start. I took I remember this time I took a screenshot before I started. So this is what you get to work with. <laughs> a far cry from, from the end result. But that's the end goal. Um and that was the end result. So let's go through the review together. We're starting to sneak into a little more CSS we're starting to sneak in a little more CSS that you haven't seen yet don't don't worry about this for now we just want to look uh, things to look a little bit prettier and this CSS will not interfere with your tasks for this one you'll probably need to edit the HTML a little bit often with Flexbox you need to add containers around things to make them go where you need them to go in this case you probably want to separate the items that go on the left and right of the header um, that's important. So we'll come back to that. This is also the first example where you'll be nesting containers inside of each other. Also important key. They're giving you little nuggets here. Desired outcome. As with the last example, this one needs to be flexible in the middle with items pushed to the right and left as we can see here. As we already went over there in the GIF. Uh, ch self check everything is centered vertically inside the header there is eight pixels of space between everything and er, between everything and the edge of the header items are arranged horizontally as seen in the outcome image there is 16 pixels between each item on both sides of the header and flex is used to arrange everything so first off as always let's uh, familiarize ourselves with the HTML so you have a uh, you have your body and then you have a div class called header, which is your whole thing here. And and then you have a div class called, uh, I actually, we'll skip that part, we'll come back to that. This is the uh, code I added. This wasn't in here originally. So we'll skip that. We'll go to div class logo. So there's your logo. And then there's a div class links, which is uh, basically all these combined and all the A attribute links and then there is a uh, button class notifications which is let me get this to stop moving <laughs> there we go to that one there we go notifications which is that right there and then there is another class called profile image which is right there that dot on the end so um, I'm gonna do the HTML first kinda going out of order but <clears throat> Basically, in order to move, get it to move from this, one of the 
first things I decided to do to get to look like this. I'm like, well, I know I want it to look like this. So I already knew that as we just went over, this is a flex item. This is a, this whole thing's a flex item. I know, sorry, it's blurry, but this is a flex item uh, together. Or excuse me, this is flex item and that's a flex item. So what I did was I created a left side, I called it left side content. And I it, it's a div class that incorporates the logo and the links. So this whole thing will become left side content and then this whole thing will become right side content which as you see contains the notifications and the profile image class class divs so because um, that'll make sense as we go through it obviously that wasn't the very first thing I did but um, I just wanted to cover that right off the bat so after the very first thing I actually did was I went down here and um, number one says uh, everything is centered vertically inside the header. So you start off with the header, locate the header CSS, and always want to start off with display flex because you need to uh, transform the header into a flex so that you can manipulate the objects below it, which is actually kind of satisfies the last one too. Flex is used to arrange everything. So we made the flex and then we center everything vertically inside of the header so we have a line item center and then what that does is that lines aligns everything uh, in a li nice basically clean order going up and down so there's equal amount of space above and there's equal amount of space below the padding if you will but it's not but we'll just call it that equal amount of padding above and below inside of the header box and then the same since it's the headers the whole thing it will also apply to the profile circle and the button notification as well padding we did add padding here um, because in this next one it says there is eight pixels of space between everything between the edge of the header so the edge of the header is here they took a weird screenshot so this just ignore this darker gray part here the light white parts what we're focused on <coughs> so there's eight pixels of con of padding that I created that adds space as you remember padding goes in between the edge of the text and the edge of the border so there's eight pixels around everything and then justify content I set to space between um, and what that does is it gets it, it gets it all dejunkified from the corner here and spreads it out so if you remember um, space between is <clears throat> justify content Where's that at? Yeah, justify content space between. So you see, it it puts equal amount of space in between each uh, flex item. So that gets it all unbound from the e uh, far left edge there, and get, it kind of gets things started. It doesn't create it clean like that, but that's where we'll go down to the next stuff. So uh, items are arranged horizontally, as seen in the outcome in image. So everything's aligned horizontally. <clears throat> so we're going to skip profile image because we don't need to really mess with that because we added it inside of I added it inside of that right the right hand or right side content same with same with the um, the logo is in left side button is in right side and this is just decoration removal for the anchor tags so we don't have to mess with that and then the UL is here this is the unordered list because again we're working uh, I thought I'd get tripped up on this because we're working again with an unordered list which as you guys know in the previous video I had uh, quite a bit of a struggle with and not this time I remembered what I learned last time and I applied it so what we did here this was already here so we created a display flex because we uh, I knew I needed to be able to manipulate this because it was currently sticking like this. It was stacked uh, because it's 
on order list, it's going to default to a vertical stack, and I need it to stop doing that. Sorry. Um, so display flex literally will put everything in a row because, as you know, when you flex, by default, it's always going to be a row unless you change it manually. <clears throat> and then padding and margin is zero because if you remember uh, uh, last time we discussed it, there was an extra space that is automatically added before the unordered list when they're stacked toward uh, like this see how there's a space here it doesn't always line it doesn't line up like everything else is because they have extra padding and margin in here and if you put the zeros in there it will actually remove it it's like doing minus just deletes it which is pretty sweet so and then gap 16 so I added that because there's a part of the exercise here it says there's 16 pixels between each item on both sides of the header and so I added that because um, because there needs to be uh, the gap setting, if you will. The gap is basically down, defined down here. It's always fun to show the visuals. That's kind of why I'm going back to this document. I go. I was referring to this quite a bit. So here's your gap. So this this defines the gap in between. Um, basically, it's it's more flexible than um, <clears throat> than using like space in between for justify you can do that but this this is more flexible because it explicitly controls the space between flex items and it only applies to between items not the outer edges versus like if you do space between or space around it's going to add padding if you will or space around the flex item and and gap just does um, in between items which is much more granular and what what we need that we so we need that because we need to get the space in between here because as soon as you put this to flex all this stuff's crammed together I should have took a screenshot but I didn't but basically these go in row form but they're jammed together there's no space in between link one link two and link three and so you have to uh, gap it out that's what that's for and then left side content as we described this is what I added in the HTML to uh, so this left side content is a container and so I created a flex it also has a gap of 16 because um, just as it says in the description here there is 16 pixels between each item on both sides of the header so we want to continue that because this is now a flex container and so it doesn't know it won't get it will since you since I create if I'm explaining this right since I made this a container its own container it no longer takes its orders from the from the header so it doesn't know anymore that it needs to be 16 pixels like we have in the uh, in, in the uh, header which I ended up deleting but I had 16 pixels in here before I created the two containers but you see nothing in here basically everything in here will be ignored for the for the flex container when you create it because can't have container inside of a container. You mean you can have container inside a container, but it it takes its own marching rules. It doesn't abide by the other stuff. So that's why I put this uh, won't abide by what's in the headers. What I'm saying. If I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments. But that's how I understand it. So I had to add had to add the gap 16 pixels back into it, and alignment back for center, and that brought everything down to again doing a realignment so that everything is centered because. If I had, when I didn't have that in there, this the links were like justified at the top. Don't know why, doesn't matter. So you line it center, and it comes down. Uh, right side, similar similar thing. Right side contents this these two here. So it's display flex and gap is 16 pixels. Same type of deal. Um, and that that's it. That describes what happened. And so throughout the exercise also, I, I just give you guys a, a tidbit of advice. It's always easier to go ahead and use your, your inspection element here um, and uh, or inspection of 12 tools and look to see what it is. Look to see what it looks like. Click this here if you want to find out what your code did and see it immediately in responsive browser mode. You go here and see... Now let's see it. There's my left side contents of flex, and that shows that whole box around it, meaning that all that inside there is an item and is going to be manipulated accordingly. It's just very helpful. Very helpful. 
Another thing I um, I wanted to show you guys while I'm here is, as you can see, just like in the GIF, this does shift like it's supposed to when I shrink it. So it doesn't go off the page, it doesn't bleed out, it doesn't jump forward, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. So back to the text editor here. So let's uh, quickly go over the solution. As always, the solution extra stuff's been put in at the bottom, as we've talked about before in previous videos. So <clears throat> the header uh, was an addition of flex. So I added my I had my flex add, and then they have for the second one justify content space between justify content space between um, align align item center align item center and padding of eight pixels padding of eight pixels nothing more nothing less and you can tell I didn't cheat because they're out of order um, and I am super stoked about this guys I cannot tell you like this is perfect like I, I'm not saying I'm perfect with human being I'm not I'm a flawed child of God but um, but the fact that I got this without any error is super motivating to me. I know I'm I'm gonna get stumped on probably the next one. I'm probably jinxing myself, but I am I I just I feel I'm kinda shocked that I got this. So here's your here's your unloaded list uh, class, display flex, display flex, margin and padding are zero, just like that. We did that. We put in the gap of sixteen, put in the gap of sixteen pixels. And then, of course, this was already in there. <laughs> Just remember, this is this here is listing what was added in addition to what was already there. This is already there. So we go down to left side content. The only difference, if you see this left side content, they added the left and right together with a comma, which I could have did that. I just wasn't thinking about it. So I just defined mine out. Uh, a little more code, just not as clean, not as sexy, but still gets the job done. So left side content, display flex gap 16 and line item center and same thing here display flex gap 16 and I didn't add the line center but it wouldn't have mattered because it, it all would have fell under the same um, I didn't add the right side the alignment center to this one particularly because I was already getting my alignment correct here through the um, uh, through the it's it's parent so it was um, I guess let's check that out real quick see if I can figure this out real quick otherwise I'll skip this part but I don't want to make this video go overly long um, light site content there's my flex container oh it's just because um I didn't have linked lists in it, so as you can see, it's obeying the uh, padding rule of the the 16 pixels around it. So that's that's why it's I didn't have to add the center. If I would add the center, it would shift it to the center, which, as you can see, it's all lining up center right now, all the way across the the header. So um, it wouldn't have made a difference um, if I would or wouldn't have put that in there. So um, so that's it. Yep. So. We are done with this. Uh, so tomorrow, or whenever I record next, uh, I'm getting close to Christmas, so probably we'll. And I'm still on call, so we'll we'll see. But um, next time I record, hopefully, if it is tomorrow, we're gonna go on to flex information. So I, you know, maybe I'll get stuck here, but we're head, we're going away from the header and we're going into information. I'm assuming that's probably gonna be the bot stuff in the body in the middle. So I'm assuming based on the way this is and the way it's titled excuse me we're gonna create a whole basically responsive web page all the way down to layout and probably a footer if I had to guess I haven't looked ahead so I'm just kinda of guessing here but anyway uh, appreciate you guys as always thanks for the new subs and I hope you guys are learning and coming along with the journey with me and having fun at the same time and and uh, I hope you find this material educational Please like, share, and subscribe if you would, and until next time, see ya.